Hi guys, Ants Canada here. Welcome to the Ants Canada Ant Channel. I am here in the beautiful island of Guam. It's a little tiny island in the Pacific. It's gorgeous out here. These islands are awesome. And you know what? It's so lush, full of amazing plant life, amazing animals, and of course, amazing ants. Now, I just arrived from Honolulu, Hawaii, which is several thousand miles away, but still in the Pacific. And you know, I had no idea what kind of ants they had there. And when I was going anting, I actually didn't recognize a lot of the ants. But what I did find were ants in the process of helping make some amazing products that we humans use and consume. Hope you guys like this video and check out some of the ants that help us make chocolate, coffee, and create pineapples. Hope you like the video. Okay, so this ant here is a campanatus. It's a campanatus. But and they apparently it'll bite me, but if this is campanatus, I don't think it'll bite me. People are saying it'll bite. Ooh, I have no idea what species this is. It's so tiny. Like, look at that for reference. A finger. Tiny species of ant. What is that? I don't know. Never seen it before. Kind of. I was gonna say Laceus, but no, that's not a Laceus ant. That's something else. Let's try to get closer. It's just running along this log here. Um, on this beach. Here in Hawaii. Okay, here are more of those ants that I saw on that log, but these ants are running along this wooden bench here. Still by the beach. This is a highway for them. Continue as normal. I don't know what species this is. Hmm. They, oh, and their gasters are full. They're eating something. Oh, okay. They're going to this bush here. I wonder if they're tending plant aphids or if they're filling themselves up on nectar from the buds. Let's go check. There's a really tiny species of ant. I don't know what that is. I am... Um, could it be a miniature species of Solenopsis? Or some other ant. I'm sorry guys, I, I don't want to make a guess and not know for sure. Or with some degree of certainty. So there are beetles here. I'm not sure what kind, but this looks like it's a I don't know what tortoise beetle or looks like a ladybug. And I'm assuming it eats plant insects, so I feel like, yes, there are plant insects here that the ants are farming. I also see a leaf insect there. I'm trying to look for where their aphid farm is, or plant insect farm is. Oh, they're coming out of this hole. Okay, so basically they're going up this wall here. Up, up, up the wall and into this tiny hole here. Which is where their nest is. Very neat. Awesome. I don't know what species this is. I mean, could they be Laceus? Like Laceus Niger? I've never even seen Laceus Niger in real life. I'm going to have to ask my taxonomist friends what species they feel this is. Okay guys, so get this. These here are coffee bean trees. See? And what I found really cool was that 
if you look at these blossoms, you'll find that there are ants frequenting them. They're drinking the nectar from the blossoms. Now, the reason I find this interesting is because, oh, it's Parachicana longicornis, black crazy ants. The reason I find this interesting is because the ants here are pollinating the blossoms, which allow the entire tree here to produce the fruit, which we end up using for coffee. Let's see if we can get a closer look. See the black crazy ants going in and out? So what happens is these black crazy ants enter the flower to feed on the goodies inside, the nectar, but on their bodies end up little tiny grains of pollen which they, you know, inadvertently um, transport to other blossoms and therefore they, they pollinate this plant which then allows the plant to create these fruit and then when this fruit ripens like these here, they turn red we harvest them or they fall on the ground and then we process them and turn them into coffee <laughs> isn't that amazing? so if it weren't for these ants we wouldn't be able to have coffee it's really amazing to think about that thank you ants for the great coffee and for keeping millions of people around the world awake <laughs> every day now the insect that pollinates the blossoms is different depending on the location and the country and the available pollinators in the region but uh, in this case it's black crazy ants thank you Paratrachina longicornis and equally as interesting this here is a cacao tree where we of course get the fruit that creates chocolate and let's see let's see if we can look carefully here it grows along, you see these blossoms here? It just grows along the bark. Check out there. See this fruit here? See that fruit? We harvest the materials needed for chocolate, I guess the seeds, the beans, um, from this fruit. And see, it, it starts off as a little tiny tiny little thing like that Let's see if we can focus there the fruit starts off as a little tiny thing like that but in order to get from that to that we need pollination to happen first so see these little tiny blossoms here they offer some awesome goodies for ants and right now, we do. I can see an ant crawling up the stem. It, I'm not sure what species it is, but there are ants there. And what they do is they feed on the nectar, and again, the little grains of pollen end up on their bodies. And then they, without even knowing, pollinate this flower, which then allows the flower to turn into that little thing there which grows into these fruits and from these fruits we harvest the seeds and we turn it into chocolate so thanks to ants to these ants this unknown identified species we can enjoy chocolate it's really amazing, you see? Plants need the help of insects like ants in order to breed. It's pretty amazing to think about that, right? Can you imagine if humans had to depend on insects to breed? If humans had to depend on ants to reproduce? 
I think end keeping would be a very much more popular hobby than it is today. <laughs> So speaking of pollination, I'm here at the Dole Plantation site and look at all of these really tiny ants in this pineapple type plant. See they're pollinating the little flowers here. Let's see if we can get close. which allows us to benefit because the plants create fruit, pineapple fruits. Look at the ants. Thank you ants for giving us pineapples too. Well, thank you to the pineapple plant, but thank you to ants for pollinating them. And once again, I don't know what species they are. I am so sorry guys. I'm not a taxonomist. What an interesting flower. I believe pineapples belong to the bromeliad family of plants. Yeah. See? This is a, what a pineapple bush looks like. So after pollination of the flowers that these little buds turn into these huge pineapples <laughs> and then we harvest them but if we don't harvest them naturally what happens is this stalk here weakens it falls and then a new pineapple plant grows it's kind of neat so this is how pineapples reproduce kind of like strawberries and then see this I suppose somehow it starts to root I don't know from there and ants are part of this whole process of the pineapple plant reproducing is that isn't that cool and there you have it guys ants that help us make coffee chocolate and create pineapples it's really amazing um, and you know there are tons of other products that we humans um, use and grow and create um, that are derived from plants that require the help of insects and pollinators like ants so it really really is amazing thank you so much for watching I hope you guys get to discover these amazing islands out here in the Pacific there are so many um, in the area of Polynesia and Micronesia Look at this island, how can you not love, right? Um, and if you ever get a chance to go to Hawaii, please do. It's really, really a fantastic place full of amazing animals, amazing plants, and of course, amazing ants. Thanks so much, guys, for tuning in. Stay tuned for next week's video. Send love forever. Bye. Thanks guys for watching this video, it really means a lot to me. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We upload a video every Monday at 8 a.m. sharp Eastern Standard Time. And don't forget to check out our great playlists on this channel. You'll see an ant tutorial playlist over there that can help all of you beginner ant keepers. And we have a fire ant playlist for those of you who like to watch large active colonies. Finally, don't forget to visit us at antscanada.com. We have lots of great information on ant keeping. We've got a forum full of thousands of ant keepers from all over the world who you can learn from. And please, if you've got ant colonies, don't forget to contribute. And I highly recommend you journal in the journaling section. And finally, if you need ant colonies, be sure to visit our GAN project at the Queen Ants for Sale section. We sell ant colonies in key cities all over the world. And if you'd like to be a GAN farmer and sell colonies of your own in your city, please write to us at gan at antscanada.com. Wow, guys. Okay, so these ants I recognize. These are um, Anoplolepis gracilipes. It's... um yellow crazy ants. They're all over this rock. I don't know if you can see them. It's kind of hard for me to see them. Pantropical species, if you watched our Valley Indonesia video, saw a lot of them there. And they're here in Hawaii too, thousands of miles away. Now these are an invasive species, so 
they've managed to invade many, many tropical areas. They're also found in the Philippines too. Very cool. They're, liter they're literally all over this rock here. I wonder where their nest is. It's a cool looking rock. What are these, lichens? Yeah. Just a quick pan of the habitat. Back to the yellow crazy ants. Even though they're called yellow crazy ants, they're actually more of an orange color. And they kind of remind me of Ecophila smaragdina in the way they move and their build, but they're a bit smaller. Cool.